man, we back. This part two. It's kind of late, but I said, let me go ahead and drop it. The part two was about how much is a minute of your time worth? Part one was about how much is a minute of your time worth? So let me get out my, my pen. Y'all know I got my trusty pen. And um, I discussed how to process that. You know, how to calculate it. You know, to find out how much one minute of your time worth. So now that we got that, you need to figure out how to put some value on that. Y'all know what that means, don't you? That means they coming and going. What you doing? You just, you scrolling on your phone. That's what you doing. But anyway, we ain't gonna, we, we, we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna stay on that. I already know you're scrolling. I got four cases open. Seven hours, eight hours, eight hours. One, six. Four cases. Six hours, social media. Eight, two on with eight hours. One on with 7.48. All right, so part two is how to up your value. Building relationships can up your value. Just reaching out to people within your own industry can build your value. I seen that firsthand. Um, focus on productivity. Work on improving your time management and productivity skills. This can help you accomplish more in less time, giving you more time to focus on personal development. And then you gotta consider some side gigs. If you have enough time and energy, consider taking on a freelance work, you know, a side business. You gotta hustle. That's all it is. You gotta hustle. So that's what we talking about. Networking, focus on pro productivity, and maybe you have to get a side gig. So, but remember now, you gotta have some work-life balance. But if you spend the eight hours on social media today, you might need to get a side gig or pick up some hours to increase your value. So one thing I did today at the uh, airport, when I sat down, I would ask a customer, do you know about TEMU? Y'all know what that, that company is. I had this one man say, nah, what is that? But I could tell he was working. He was, he was, he was, he was working. You know, he had a laptop out. He was like, hey, you know. So then, on another bank, they left. I always sit in the same little area. You know, another gentleman sat down, said something to me. And I'm like, man, you get a lot of them T-E-M-U on your phone? I mean, I'm like, they everywhere. He was like, I heard about it. But I heard it was a bunch of, you know, stuff that I don't want. I said, wow, man. So maybe the algorithm will know how much you worth. What's your spending habits? How much you spend? Because remember now, they know how much you make. They know how long you be online. So they're going to cater to you remember they know how much you make how you how much you work per minute they already know they know how long you stay on time it's their algorithm so they're gonna cater towards you based on how much you make how much time you spend on time so if you online being productive working towards your goal and all the time you jump online, man, 
They better come correct. That algorithm better come correct because you ain't got time to be on this device. You get on this junk, be productive, check your emails, you know, check your little side business, then you gone. So next thing you know, they're going to be like, okay, I'm going to send them, I'm going to send them something. Maybe I can send them something that can help with his algorithm. You know, help his little business. I can't be sending them all this BS stuff. That uh, That's not going to work. Because... You building relationships, you focus on productivity, and you might got a little side gig. Man, so this is part two of part one. Just adding some value to how much you worth per minute. Remember now, you're scrolling online five, six, seven, eight hours a day. All right. What we got to do? Y'all know what the, the steps is. Step one. This was so crazy about the algorithm. I, I got to start spelling out some stuff. Step one. P-R-A-Y. The algorithm will shut you down. They don't want nobody doing that. Step two. Make your bed. Just make your bed in the morning. Step three is to drink some water. Man, that water is important. It says, staying hydrated is essential for overall health, energy level, and brain function. That's just drinking water. They coming. You hear them? It's out there in the distance. They coming and going. You swiping. You just swiping on your phone. The algorithm love you because you just swiping. Ain't working on none of your goals. Number four, you gotta you gotta write down your goal. And you gotta put it somewhere where you can see it. You gotta write down your goal. You gotta put it somewhere where you can see it every day. You're ten times more likely to succeed. You know what I'm saying? It's really interesting. It's very interesting. But anyway, y'all know what the number five is. Y'all know what number five is. So what we're gonna do about this? We're gonna first we're gonna just work towards our goal, be consistent, and be patient with this process. That's it. it I'm trying to tell y'all. It's not as easy as you think it is to get out this device. Man, it's not, man. I started on this February 17th. I'm just getting to the point where I'm like, you know what? I don't even have to really touch you in the morning. I felt, I look, you know, I'm just getting to that point. Now, do I still touch? Yes. But I'm just getting to the point where I'm more comfortable with it. It's going to, it's going to, it's going to take some work. You know, it's going to take a lot of P-R-A-Y. Man, it's interesting. But anyway, I got to go. I just want you to work towards five things. Get you motivated to get off this and reach your goals. So I'm out.